Hi there, this is Dr. Jeremy Steiner. I recently taught a weekend event called Modern Electroacupuncture Medicine Essentials. And at this event, I taught practitioners all about the seven root causes of disease. Now I've extracted some video clips from this event which are focused on the master gland, AKA the thyroid. Now in this short video, I go over some foundational thyroid physiology, as well as give information about a necessary nutrient that the majority of North Americans are deficient in. Please enjoy. Let's talk about thyroid. It is fed by the stomach spleen. Obviously, stomach nine goes near there. And if I didn't write it in this course, I'm gonna tell you about a treatment to have your patient walk out, a hypothyroid patient walk out of your office with more thyroid hormone than when they walked in. We just stimulate the superior laryngeal nerve, which is an offshoot of the vagus nerve, but it innervates the thyroid right there. So instead of stomach nine, we go superior and medial, quarter sun, and you're on the superior laryngeal nerve. If you stimulate any peripheral nerve with electricity, it doesn't matter what frequency, it's gonna release acetylcholine. When it re releases acetylcholine, that stimulates the thyroid to dump thyroid hormone, as well as start increase or increase the production of it because the thyroid stores it and it's released on demand. As long as there's enough iodine, because don't forget, we still have to worry about the Gucci and there's an iodine deficiency. Whenever you want to know where the, the secret of the universe is, I mean, the end all be all of like how to solve a problem, just look at what they are trying to scare you away from, right? So I mentioned iodine to a patient and they're like, oh, I don't know, I'm scared of iodine because this, 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 and this, you know? But meanwhile, iodine is, an, is mandatory for life. It's involved in more than 10 different things. Like, for example, did you know stomach acid is made up of iodine molecules? If you don't have iodine, how can you make stomach acid? There's no Gucci. There's no raw building blocks to make it. Of course, we need iodine for thyroid hormone because they don't diagnose 80% of hypothyroid type 2 in North America. That has to do with an iodine deficiency. We're deficient in iodine. So I don't care what, what some stupid, purposeful, paid-for research shows. We're deficient in iodine. I take 50 milligrams, and, and like my patients, if I say milligram, they're like, don't you mean microgram? My iodine supplement says that 30 micrograms is like 3,000% or whatever those ridiculous numbers are. Yeah, I'm talking milligrams. I take 50 milligrams, and if I take 100 milligrams, I feel even better. If I take 150 milligrams, I feel even better. But it does get expensive. So thyroid is very interesting. It's a master gland. 40% of thyroid hormone is involved in body temperature regulation. Body temperature regulation, even small changes of quarter degree or half degree, affects the speed at which enzymes are... <laughs> at which enzymes function. In other words, if 98.7 is normal and somebody's 98.2, now all of a sudden their enzymes are functioning at a different rate than healthy. So 40% of thyroid hormone goes towards body temperature regulation and six, the remaining 60% of the thyroid hormone goes towards total body voltage. So this is a very important master gland and it definitely on our seven root causes and it's fed by the earth channels. And yeah. Hypothyroid is extremely common and undiagnosed. Chronic hypothyroid leads to metabolic syndrome. Here's metabolic syndrome. It's um, syndrome X, uh, abdominal obesity, hyperglycemia, uh, increased lipids, and hypertension. So fasting hyperglycemia, diabetes type 2, or impaired fasting glucose, impaired glucose tolerance, or insulin resistance, high blood pressure. You don't really need to know this stuff if you don't want to. Just stick with the acupuncture channels and you'll get it right and the seven, you know, seven root causes. Um, so apple-shaped, these are just symptoms of thyroid and metabolic syndrome. 
Now, increased reverse T3, that's interesting. There's a ratio in a, in a lab work, reverse T3 to regular T3. These fake fats that we ingest or that we're exposed to make their way to cellular membranes. And so now you have a cellular membrane with a different electrical capacitance because it's made up of plastics instead of healthy fats. Big problem. Hmm. Let's have them drink water out of plastic. Just add, let's, how can we poison the population just a little bit more efficiently? We need to sell more oil. All right, let's start making plastic bottles out of it. All right, thyroid and metabolic syndrome can lead to stress, anger, heart attacks, ADHD, migraines, obesity, and depression. Um, lack of stomach acid, I think it's related to iodine. High fructose corn syrup can cause this. Okay, thyroid uses a lot of iodine to make hormones. Iodine carries secretions from inside the cells to outside of the cells. So any cystic disease is, can be fixed by supplementing iodine. Breast cysts, anything. Any cystic disease, put your patient on iodine and the cysts will go away. What happens is if there's not enough iodine, toxins stay in the cell and it just blows up. And we call that a cyst. Now most of the cysts in the body are caused by iodine deficiency. That's what I said already. Iodine is really cool in that no single-celled organism can survive. What does that mean? That means if I saturate myself with iodine, once I've saturated myself, the very last step is that my body sits 30 times more iodine on the surface in my skin than in the, it encases me in armor. So that if I'm living in Connecticut or New Jersey and I get bit by a Lyme disease tick, if I already have iodine saturated in, this, in my skin, that Babesia or whatever disease it is can't survive, it can't go in. Can you see where they don't want you on iodine? How can you be easy to kill off you don't, if you're if you're not deficient in iodine. These are just cells that need iodine. There's quite a few. Um, this is what I said, kills all single cell organisms like viruses, bacteria, fungi, and protozoa. No microorganism cannot develop resistance. That's pretty cool. Iodine is used in cavitation cleanup too. Leading cause of ADD and ADHD, I don't remember where I got this info, but it is referenced in the back, extremely important for brain development. Yes, if you're pregnant, take extra iodine. The baby's using it all. And it effectively treats food poisoning. That's pretty cool. If I had food poisoning, I'd take a mega dose right away, and it should kill it. It works better if you're already saturated. Because if you're, not, if you're deficient in iodine, and then you get food poison, and then you take a mega dose to try and kill the food poison, your body may not allow that iodine to kill the food poison. It may suck it for something else. Does that make sense? And UTI and bladder infections. If you take a massive dose of iodine, and you pee it out if it's too much, but if that iodine ends up in the urinary bladder, and there's pathogen there, it's going to die from the iodine. Once you kill it, it detaches from the wall of the bladder, and then you pee it out. So fetuses need five times more than mom. Low maternal iodine can lead to miscarriage, birth defects, failure to thrive, mental retardation, and very little iodine in U.S. farmed foods. No surprise there. Right, Dustin? Now, Here's the statistics. Adults need 12 to 15 milligrams. That's a minimum dose. This is from the functional medicine world. Now, every person except allergic should take it to prevent infections and the C word. Now, Lugol's is great. Lugol's is not actually a brand. It just means that it's in water instead of alcohol. Uh, and then what I do with my patients, what I really do if, 
back to the BET, we can use it to load because if you use the BET while taking supplements, you can get those supplements to absorb 10 to 30 times more. So what I do with my patients is I typically, if they're deficient in iodine and they're open to taking it, they're not scared to death, um, I will load iodine in one or two treatments. So they take iodine, 12 milligrams, and then I give them the BET, and maybe I do that once, twice max, and then I consider that loaded, and then they would just take it 12 per day forever, 12 milligrams per day forever. So what do you think? Feel free to place your comments below the video and click the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. I'll see you soon.